then we have a vector layer here if you double click go to the settings we have a vector tab here that we have some interesting noise <coughs> settings that you can see here uh, you can as you can see we have an object that is a, 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 it has a fill and the outline you can uh, activate noisy outline you can activate noisy outline or noisy noisy fields also as you can see we have noisy fields and noisy out, outline and you can animate it, that noise for some uh, animation you can create such a distinct for all, all vector layers if you want you can move extra sketch it's, it, it has more create more gap between the outline and the field the offset pixel here you can see how much amplitude of that noise is actually the scale of that if the scale if it, it <clears throat> lower number means more noise and the higher number we have increased it we have mm, bigger noise that you want interval it's uh, for example if you it uh, if you create a tree every tree frame it will be noise and uh, it's actually uh, changing the timing as you can see you can change the time it's more smoother more slower something like this how much that lines that you want for example two line zero line one line two line three line you can activate it that nice another important thing here is animated shape order uh, for that if you for example um, in that layer in this layer in this layer we can create uh, some other objects for example with a different color oops uh, select it anywhere with a different <coughs> color we create a different things there then come back deselect everything come back and with a different color different thing and uh, you can simply click with that shape selection i think with the select shape yeah with a select shape you can as i said before you can hold a shift and uh, bring in that holding shift and make them up and down or if you don't know the shortcut you can come to draw rise the shape up uh, for example you can select that if you want you can rise it one step rise to front it comes to front and you can animate them uh, this is that here you can in a vector you can animate it shape order you can apply it and you can animate it that it's very it's very useful to some project that I explain it for example you can come here and make it for example right to forward and as you can see it's animate and come to forward then you can go back again come back to again and so you can animate um, the order of the shape that create in a one layer as you can see the layer change its shapes and you can see some stacks here some layer that are snapping to the layer and it tells okay the animated shape order is very important uh, but you can see in this project for example uh, mr rabbit where is that thing yeah in this situation you can see it very well uh, as you can see if you come to one and look at this ear here this is in one layer you can hold all the right click to find it yeah as you can see this is here and you can see some layer uh, at this folder it means the uh, in, in its settings it's activate animated uh, shape order and if you select this uh, bone and select the holding then go to manipulate and look at the head look at the ear it's calm uh it changing order it is behind the head and if the head turning morphing it comes front as you can see you can animate this situation and in the, the back ear goes back again yeah you can see they are just changing the order of the shape boom 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 this is 
um, important for this situation. You can animate them. So you can go to the rise shape, blow, count. It's one step, rise it, one step, lower it, order. It's completely bring it front. It's completely bring it back. So you can animate it that. Come back to our situation, double click and vectors. And uh, I explained them before, smart warp uh, layer for triangular to the mesh. I explained it before. You can refer to the previous lesson. This is an anti-aliasing for making the better quality is actually for pixels. It's uh, fading, blurring the pixels to each other that you can see better the pixels at the um, more distance. Okay. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.